Okay, this is, I'm Rich here. Uh, we're filming at Dragon Center in Poughkeepsie, New York. This is a redo Tuesday for a prior video I did on how to play only on a Wisp Solitaire with the Ed Allard scoring. What we have here, as you can see, is I have cards, ace through ten, and four suits. I also have two jokers. For the sake of the writing, because the writing's bigger, this is going to be the larger the joker. It's the highest card in Trump suit. That's going to be the second highest one. And what you're going to do is you're going to play nine rounds, nine hands, and you're going to bid. You're trying to get the 30 points. So, again, this is a redo Tuesday for Buddy Ed Howard scoring for this issue of Games Magazine published it. I'll have a link below to it. To pretty much that issue had to play only on a Wiz Solitaire. So, you'll see, anyhow, it was a number ago. This has gone out of print. So, anyhow, let me go ahead and show you how to set up and play a hand. We're going to play nine, nine rounds, nine hands, and you're trying to get to a positive score of 30 points. So, what I'll do is I'm going to have a dummy hand that's going to lead. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. And you'll see I have four cards left over. I'm going to flip the top one over. The trump suit here is hearts. What I'm going to do here is I will look over my cards. I have the big joker. And I have... Okay, I have a heart. I have two hearts. Okay. And this is a potentially strong hand, because the dummy hand's going to lead all the time. That's one thing I have. So, I will do this. I probably have one, two. Well, I'm going to say one, just be on the side. I have two, three. Is there a nine? I have to be careful I bid. Three. I'm going to figure, ah, uh, that's not good. I thought you did two. Ah, that's not good. I'm pretty much voiding it. But I'll say I have one, two, three, four, and uh, four. We'll say five. I don't know if that's going to work. thing is that is with the trick-taking game, whatever this card leads, he always leads, meaning he's going to play. Remember, I bid five. You've got to remember that five. So. He plays that there. That's five, so I'm actually going to try to take this. And I probably could have gone higher than that, but I think I'm not going to get something else here. So, wow. I'm totally devoid in one suit. So, if you play that, I'm actually going to play. It doesn't matter. I will grab that. The way the scoring bidding works here is that if I may, if I take as many tricks as I did, I score that many points. Or if I take over. Okay. If I take over. If I take over, I'm going to score that many. But for each one I went over, I'm going to lose a point off of what I did. For example, let's say I take six tricks here. Okay. And I bid five. I'm going to get my five points. For each one I went over, I lose a point, so I'm going to be at four. I could also do what's called null. And this is, I'm using Ed Howard's scoring. They also have to play regularly, but we'll explain how the scoring works. I could bid null means I'm going to bid no tricks. That one means that if I take no tricks, I gain 10 points. What I'm going to do there is that the scoring is a little bit differently than you have here. What I want to do is that if I take one or more trick, I'm going to lose 10 points minus the number of tricks I bid. For, I mean, excuse me, I'm going to lose 10 points minus the number of tricks I uh, want. So let's say, for example, I bid null and I take four tricks. That is 10 minus 6. 10 minus 4, and that's equal 6 points. So I'd only lose 6 points. So that could be something else. If it looks like you're going to bail out early and made a mistake, you, you can recover from it. So, anyhow, we have this card here, and let's see what else we're going to do. I'm going to look, who plays that part. What else am I going to do? Play the trump suit, so... Okay, I have to make a judgment call here. I'm actually going to take it with this, too. Word I can't think of. Okay. Three... Find your match up there, okay? Okay, next thing I do here is uh, that. Three. Three. I'm going to take two here. So I'm going to swap this off. I'm going to take that. I'm going to three here. <laughs> One, two, three. Ace of hearts. Okay.
That was brutal. I'm hoping by some miracle I can play it. I played it not quite right. Oh, I took it. Okay, he's going to play that there. Okay. And I'm hoping that there's one more club in here. I'm going to have some problems. Good, I got it. At least I made my trick here. And we'll see what he does there. Good. And I made that exactly. So I won five points there. What it was if I didn't make that? Now let's say I didn't pull that last trick off there. I would have lost five points. And if I, bid, if I took six, I would have scored four points. And remember the idea of the null? That what you do is that you do a null bid. And it's an all or nothing bid. The thing that happens is that if you go over for each trick you take, you end up you end up gaining a point after you lose your initial ten. You're going to play nine rounds of this, and after that, you end up trying to get to be thirty or more points. Game puts pressure on you. And I thank Ed Allard for this variant. And again, this is a redo Tuesday. We did this earlier. Hopefully, this turned up okay. So, anyhow, that's about it here. I do want to thank you for watching. And again, this is Rich. This is my channel, Plus Game Three to find. And that's how to play. Only on a with Saul chair with the Ed Howard Baron. Great. Thank you. Thank you for watching.